promised, I said I'll talk about Steve Nash. So I think many people know right now, Steve Nash has been let go by the Brooklyn Nets. Um, and I think everybody knew who paid close attention to this team knew that Steve Nash was a goner either by the middle of the season or by the end of the season. He didn't make it past December. So now that he's gone, like I said, I saw this coming. I just, I just thought about when he was first hired, right? I think he was on the Golden State staff, if I'm not, uh, if I stand correct. I think he was at one point in time. Um, turn that off. Shoot. Sorry. Why is that even playing? But anyways, uh, I think at one point in time he was on the, the Golden State staff. But I think him getting hired as coach that early without really having too much coaching experience was a problem. Not even just the coaching experience, just knowing how to hold down a team and lead them. I don't think he ever could. But then again, it's hard trying to lead a team when you had someone like Kyrie Irving, a diva like Kevin Durant, and at one point in time, James Hart and now uh, Ben Simmons. But you would also think that being a former player that he can relate to these guys. Nope. Not. Not. Nada. Wasn't going to happen. And I just look. Shoot. I've probably seen this team too many times. Probably just as much as the Bucks or anybody else. You can just tell by the way the players acted around him. All this stuff about Kevin Durant. One in him and Sean Marks gone. Uh, the alleged story of Kyrie saying that Steve Nash didn't deserve his two MVPs. Who knows if that story is true or not by Odin Polonese. I don't know. I think it was confirmed true, but I seriously don't know at this point. Um, just Kyrie ever saying don't really like Steve Nash or Sean Marks. Uh, just a whole bunch of stuff. So, like I said, I saw this coming. Everybody saw this coming. The problem with the Nets is, one, they're dysfunctional. I think we all can agree with that. They're dysfunctional as hell. And I don't think anybody, any new coach coming in there, maybe they might, but as of right now, it remains to be seen that any coach coming in here can really hold this team down. Because they're the function that starts with the top with the owner. You got the owner calling out the player um, out in the public online on Twitter. Messy right there. And you had the whole thing with Kevin Durant being a diva. Messy right there. And as much as I agree with Kyrie on some of his stance, even some of that was messy right there. James Harden wanted to leave. Messy. Ben Simmons right now. Even his acquirement has been messy. Just a mess from top to bottom. And then on the court, you got Kyrie and Kevin, really. Ben Simmons is Ben Simmons. He ain't doing anything. Their defense is atrocious. They can't hold nobody. They have nobody out there to go, um, go out there and get rebounds. They get out rebounded. There's just no, there, there needs to be a alpha type male, somebody who can lead this team, somebody who can get in somebody in people's faces and set them straight. There's nobody on this team like that. Not even when they was a second seed two years ago when they lost to the Bucks. Nobody is on, there, on that team like that. That's what they need. Forget trying to find a different coach or some other coach that used to coach for Boston. That ain't gonna work. I'll get to that later. Um, I don't know, but yeah, Steve Nash, I think he probably needs a little bit more experience. 
or maybe just coaching just ain't right for him if he can't hold down a team or maybe just maybe just go to the college level or something maybe that's what he needs to do high school level or college level work himself way back up again until he becomes a complete head coach because judging from what i'm seeing other than that little temper tangent he had last week in milwaukee um it just seems like he i don't think he can control nba players not these nba players maybe some everybody can't be a Giannis or a tim duncan but not these days i don't know maybe he just needs to go to college that's just my thinking with it but steve nash he's gone rightfully so but I'm not done speaking about the Brooklyn Nets yet because apparently they had two coaches in mind. One of them now has the job. 